is above all name. But every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the only Lord to the glory of God the Father. Father, we honor you. We thank you, Father. We love you, Father God. We acknowledge all your goodness and grace and favor and blessings and safety and protection upon our lives, O oh God. Truly, Lord, we are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God. Amen. By the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the power of the word, we are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God. And I continue to decree and declare in the name of Jesus that all the works of the enemy in this place be broken Amen. in the name of Jesus. Let all the works of the enemy in our families be broken Amen. in the name of Jesus. Loose them and let them go in the name of Jesus. Loose the people of God and let them go in Jesus' name. And Lord, I release the spirit of love and joy and peace be upon our families in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the champion. The spirit of the champion. We claim and believe we receive in the name of Jesus. And we declare that we are the victors in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare victory, victory, victory upon our lives today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, everybody, give him praise. Come on. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. How's everyone today? Yes. Praise the Lord. God always causes us to triumph in all things. Amen? Amen. Well, thank you for coming. This is Christ the Healer International Fellowship. Everyone is welcome. And if you are here, you are a member of this family. Amen. And we want to thank you for coming today. But listen to the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Tell your neighbor, we come here to learn, not just to listen. Praise God. Are you people of God? Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, we are people of God. We are people of God. Therefore, Therefore, we must act like one. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Open your Bibles. The title of our message is Living as Children of Light. Are you children of light? Amen. Okay, God will teach us how to live like children of light. Ephesians chapter 4, we'll start reading on verse 17 of the 24. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, let's do our declaration. <laughs> Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am highly anointed. I am highly anointed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am victorious. I am victorious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am highly favored. I am highly favored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today, Today I, will I will listen to the word of God. To the word of God. Therefore, Therefore I, will be I will be blessed. You will be blessed. You will be blessed. Everyone will be blessed. Everyone will be blessed. Beyond measure. Beyond measure. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give him praise. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. Praise God. Okay. Let's all together read. Ready? Read. So I tell you this, and receive from you in the Lord, that you will no longer be in the Next verse. Have you all lost 
Amen. 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 Yesterday, last night, we studied also from this chapter of Ephesians chapter 4. And uh, that's unity in the body of Christ. Po, chap uh, chapter 4, we read on verse 1, pa -pa -pa, until we reach verse 13. Now we will continue with this study. And now uh, we will see what the Holy Spirit has for us. And uh, I am claiming and believing now uh, we will all learn. Amen. 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 We are not people <laughs> of the enemy. Amen. We are people of God. We must act like people of God and children of God. Not only every Friday. Hello. Amen. But every day. <laughs> well, this is how the Apostle Paul was teaching the Christians, how to live like a child of God. Amen, Paul. You are not just an ordinary person coming to the church. If you happen to receive Christ as Lord and Savior, can I see the hands of those who receive Christ as Lord and Savior? Can I Amen. see Amen. Okay, this is for us. Okay? So, balik po tayo sa 17, praise God. Okay, so I tell you this, and I insist. Praise God. Mukhang nakukulitan na si Apostol Pablo. Mukhang, praise God. It's like Apostle Paul is saying, I've been teaching you these things over and over and over again, and you're not learning. You're just listening. Therefore, I tell you this, and I insist. And he even he used the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. That you must no longer live as the Gentiles do. Who are the Gentiles? Who are the Gentiles? The unbelievers. I am on it in the name of the Lord that you must no longer live like the unbelievers do in the futility of their minds. You know, these days, napakarami, there are so many things that can distract your faith, distract your focus, distract your attention from the Lord, serving God, focusing on serving Him, and so on and so forth, because of the futility of our minds sometimes. We still have all these carnalities in ourselves, in our minds. We must be cleansed by the Word of God. The lesser you hear the Word of God, and if you are not reading the Word of God, you will not change. Why? Because your carnal mind will overtake and overpower your spiritual mind. Hello. Amen. Your carnal mind will overpower your spiritual mind. It's the reason why we need to strengthen our spirit. We need to strengthen our spiritual minds so that our spiritual mind will take over our old self. Hello. Amen. This is true. Our old self is still here, but it has to be taken over by our new self. How? By being spiritual. By being spiritual. This is the reason why Apostle Paul says, I insist in the name of Jesus that you should no longer live like the unbelievers, the Gentiles. How do the Gentiles live? How do the unbelievers live? They live according to the flesh. They live according to their carnal minds. They live according to their carnal desires. Pag dumating na yung carnal desires, we tend to forget the teachings of the Lord. We tend to forget our spiritual mission. We tend to forget our spiritual way of living. Hello. This is true. For example, somebody got a new car. Where's brother so-and-so? Oh, he's testing his new car. This is the reason why he could not attend the fellowship today. Could it be possible to happen? 
Could have done something. Could be possible to happen. Sometimes we are more excited to go to the airport or batha or wash our clothes. Hello. Instead of coming to the church. Some of us are still like this. You must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. Meaning to say, we must put God first in our lives. God's business, God's dreams, goals, and visions should be put first in our lives. And God has promised us to bless us anyway. If we do that, God is not a stingy God. He's a generous God. If we put Him first, He will bless you. Are we getting this, God? Put God first, God's dream, God's vision, God's mission in your life, and you will see how the Lord will bless you, your family, your jobs, and everything around you. We have a mission to build the church of God, to build the house of God. But yet still others are not involved from the heart. They are involved in planning and they are involved in saying, Amen, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. But you check their performance. They're not really involved. Zero productivity. Very little productivity. Why? Because they're still living in the futility of their minds like Gentiles or unbelievers. They have no weight. The work of God has no weight in their lives, which is weighter, which is heavier in their lives. Ito, itong carnal things. Carnality of their minds, carnality of their desires, carnality in their lives. You know what carnality is? The desire of the flesh. The desire of our flesh. Aba, praise God. We are being taught day by day by day, week by week by we must no longer live as the Gentiles do. We must keep on learning and learning and learning and learning. And in your spiritual life, you must be growing and growing and growing higher and higher and higher, getting more and more committed, getting more and more, you know, having the mind of Christ. Let's go to the next verse, Paul. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Sometimes, you know, our hearts are still hard in some areas. Soft lang tayo do sa gusto natin. Ay, ayaw ko yan. Hard heart. Ay, gusto ko yan. Soft heart. I don't like that. Hard heart. I like this. Soft heart. May pinipili tayo. Did Christ chose anybody who, who, who will be saved? No. Everyone is welcome. Wala pong pinili ang Diyos. God didn't choose anybody to be saved. Everyone is welcome to be saved. Amen. It's now up to you. Jesus died for everybody. Not just for Few people, no. He died for everybody, so he didn't choose anybody. At the same time, it's, it, it should be the same with us. Wala dapat tayong discrimination sa sarili natin. Wala tayong pinipili. Hello? Amen. I don't like that job. I don't like that ministry. I don't like that. We're choosing. I like to be in the pulpit. Hello. Di ba sometimes kayo na tayo? Sa Panginoon, pare-pareho po yan in the eyes of the Lord, as long as you are working from the heart, there is a great reward. Amen. Whether you are in the pulpit or not. Amen? Amen. It's all this thing. 
And there's a reason, because of the hardening of our heart sometimes, we are choosy, or we cannot submit. We cannot submit to what God is saying. What does God say? Submit to the authorities. Be nice and kind to everyone. Do not be mastered by your stomach. Hello. 